I've actually hesitated on making this video for a while. It's also the kind of the reason why I'm not showing my face in this video because I didn't it was it's a weird journey. So let's start with some abstract. During the course of the last few months, from about November to now, the clowns seemed to be a bit heavier than usual. My demeanor started to change. I become a bit more bitter and I'm starting to lash out more at people for very small things. I'm not depressed. I know that much I can say for sure. However, it is a weird feeling to have people and family start to look at you differently. I also thought to myself, am I just a bitter person? Am I becoming more cynical as my day on this earth go on? Well, that might be a possibility. I can't say for certain that cynicism is the reason for this feeling. Even though I know that might be the case, I know that it was affecting my work, my social life, and my presence online. My work I can handle. My social life should be kept as personal as possible. The one that got me when I was reflecting on st stuff was my online presence. Why was that being affected? It's not like I chose to be online for anything more than having fun, right? But if that's the case, why have I literally not posted another video until now? And why is it when I was posting a video, I was faking it? These reflectionary questions lingered in my mind as I tried to figure out what it could be. I took everything into account. My attitude, the people I'm hanging around, the places I'm going, my job, my school, my schedule, and then I realized something. I've never liked disappointing people. It's always hard to see someone's faith in you dissipate as time goes on because you were unreliable. There are many instances in my life where I have felt inadequate, not good enough, too unreliable. While desiring to be useful is a nice thing, I think maybe I was going too far and then yet somehow not far enough. Making sure I know what I'm doing while looking and sounding like I really don't. The thought being that if they look better than me, it lets the other person shine. But I want people to make sure they can rely on me for stuff and know it. The juxtaposition alone is enough to make a passing owl's head spin, okay? I get that now. It's just that being true to oneself is always hard no matter where you choose to fight your battles. It also didn't help that I was starting to conflate this to this. I had to tell myself that I'm worth it. I am kicked to. That is me. That is who I am. But I was trying to be everything to everybody and that is not how that works. It was to me putting so much on my plate that I was not ready for, overloading myself just by saying yes to everyone, including myself. Basically torturing myself mentally and taxing my own resources for months at a time, thinking doing things that way was the best way. It's not. All it does is make you weak. You have no time for yourself. You sleep less. It's not good. So I'm taking a page out of Rebecca Perrin's Book of Cures and solidifying it on the internet as a form of therapy. And yes, all of this was to basically said that I have been stressed for the last months by my own inability to say no. A dose of autolophobia with a dash of horrible loneliness. It's been tough, but if you follow me on Instagram, I posted a photo of me fishing. And that's been the first time in a long time that I felt okay. I'm obviously taking steps to ensure that I don't feel this way anymore, but it's been rough. Especially if you're like me and you don't want people to figure out that you are down putting on a facade of lies to not drag other people down with you. I mean, I make these videos because I know nobody really watches them. And if you do, thanks. It means a lot. I'll see you guys next time.